Okay, let's return to the example of the rock in the rock pile at the top of the hill. And you're gonna, you're gonna push all the rocks down the hill. You want to know where a particular rock is going to be because you're trying, you're trying to determine um, where the rock is. And I think one of the limitations in the allopoetic versus the autopoetic model is that it's not a yes or no thing. There's a continuum. You have a tree, for example. It grows. And it's probably considered autopoetic. I'm not sure about that. Um, because it has uh, some control over its own structure. But then you have things like rocks. And in a sense, a rock also has a certain amount of control over its structure because crystals also grow. Now, I'm not going to extend this to the remote control yet. But at the same time, when, you, when you're dealing with a bunch of rocks at the top of a hill and you're going to push those rocks over the hill, our assumption, because of our perception and our understanding of the way the world is, is that, that an individual rock doesn't have any control over where it's going. And so to get back to your question of free will and determinism, there are things that do seem to be determined, and there are things that do seem to be free. Neither answer is completely correct, but there are, there are spheres of our aspects, in other words, there are aspects about the nature of our world that do seem to be very much determined, and there are aspects that seem to be very free. And so I think that you have to take all of the, the, um, these aspects very, very careful, carefully qualified in order to get a accurate answer, accurate picture of what's actually going on. And so back to the rock, in, in my view, and it's a very unpopular view, um, the rock does have that small amount of control or ability to determine where it's going to be on the pile at the bottom of the mountain. Um, and that is, that is an, internal, an internal structure of the rock. And for example, if you, if you take a rock and you break it, where does it break? You assume that the rock doesn't have any control over where it breaks, but that's an assumption.